Uh, first, I want to thank CPI for inviting me to be your keynote speaker today. And I want to thank um, the SCJ graduates today because I, you know, I was reflecting a little bit on my way over here. And I don't know the numbers because I don't run the program, but I know and I, because I've seen it, we've had several interns ourselves at, at ACLU, that the work that SEJ has done through this program, I think Claire said something like it's our most important program for CPI. It's the most important program for progressive San Diego, right? Because there's been so many alumni that have come through SEJ that are now, you know, working in the labor movement or in civil rights organizations. I mean, I can't name them, but the, the cohort that's here today, I just want to congratulate you, but I also want to say this is just the beginning because many of you are going to go back to school, finish your studies, and then continue on the journey to figure out what role you take back in our movement, whether it's in San Diego, or in other parts of the country, but as an SEJer, I am confident that you will continue to be that light and that agent of change no matter where you end. So let's give a round to, to the graduates today because there's definitely been a path set and big shoes to fill and I'm confident that you are gonna um, be doing amazing things because it's all there. All right, so you know, I was thinking a little bit of what I wanted to say. You know, the keynote speech. I'm thinking I'm going to talk to the graduates. Where are you? Because I wish I could see you. Can you raise your hand if you? T if, okay, because I know I I know our our fellow. So, number one, what you know, I was thinking about what I was going to say, and here's here's what I want to talk about. Right, all of us that are in this space right now, if we're here, if we're supporting SEJ, if we're supporting CPI, we're social justice junkies, right? We're committed to these values that Jesus even alluded to in terms of fighting the system, right? Fighting systems of oppression and fighting for change, right? Do you agree with me that that's who we are yeah. in this space, right? That's who we are. And a lot of times, you know, we have big battles, especially with what's happening in the country right now and the damn rhetoric that is psycho, right? And a lot of times, because we're here, we're all committed to this, but I wanna talk a little bit about this because it's how I've been feeling lately, is that for graduates, because I know some of you are probably a lot younger than me, is remember to always stay focused on the bigger picture, the values, and let's not, you know, I talked to, let's not self-implode with each other, we're not perfect. I think that a lot of times as progressives, we end up sometimes wasting so much of our energy battling each other because maybe we don't agree on the tactic or whatever. And, you know, I'm just at a point in my life where it's like, oh my God, we have so much work to do. Let's really figure out how we make Stronger Together, which is SEIU's slogan and my favorite slogan, kind of really real. So I'm kind of asking you all as graduates that as you go back to school and your campus organizing and come back into the movement, you know, and continue on your path to remember that there will be challenges in our movement. They all, there always will be. And sometimes we will not all be on the same page. But remember that, you know, there's gonna be a path to figure out those differences and that if we're not divided, we actually can win. Because what the, I'll just say the man wants is for us to self implode and for us to begin to just, you know, drag each other down, divide and conquer, and to move kind of a conservative, anti working class people agenda. So the more that we can remember that stuff's not easy, it's tough, it's messy, but remember that you have to kind of work through that mess and do it with. Number one, integrity. Number two, remembering that relationships matter and it's all about relationships. And especially in this day of age, you know, yeah, we might have, I don't know how many thousand Facebook friends or whatever, but at the end of the day, it is about who you know, it's about the people that you trust, and it's about how you can work through tough situations. So there'll be challenges, Remember kind of as young leaders, you know, 
there's there's drifts sometimes within our own movement. You know, I've been in the immigrant rights movement for a long time, and there's drifts there between here and there. How do you work through those change, tensions? Do it with integrity. Do it grounded in your values and your vision of this bigger fish that we have to fry and not ourselves. And do it with intentional and meaningful relationships. Have, pick up the phone. Right? Have coffee. Have an old school one-on-one. -on -one. I'm an old school organizer. Okay? So texting, emailing, Facebooking is not always, I mean, again, I'm older, so I'll just, you know, I know there's different generations here. But I'm all about the personal connection, the one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let's hear each other out. Let's hear each other's stories. Let's be respectful in how we, you know, learn from each other be vulnerable with each other. Remember that, you know, some of us that are older, you know, have some stuff that we could share and have been there. But those of you that are younger have a lot to teach us, but how do we do it in a way that's respectful and meaningful and courageous and not think that we know it all and kind of, you know, my way or the highway because that doesn't get us to solutions. That doesn't get us to really build power. That doesn't really get us to fry the bigger fish that we've got to fry. Sorry if there's any pescatarians in the room. But, you know, we've got bigger battles. Let's stay focused on our values, on our vision, on recognizing that we are stronger together. That's it. Oh, no, I, I did six minutes. So congratulations. You all have a lot of work to do. Remember to keep those relationships, like as you said, with each other, but build other relationships. And I just got to say this, that, you know, those relationships, of, and don't just find people that just think like you and act like you, you know, build relationships with other people that might challenge you sometimes. That's okay. That's how we become better. So get, you know, be comfortable being uncomfortable sometimes. It's all good. All right? Thanks so much. Thanks, friend.